There is a substantial risk of loss associated with trading Forex, binary options, stocks, or equities, collectively, asset classes. Only risk capital should be used for trading. Trading in any asset classes is not appropriate for everyone. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. No representation is being made that investors will make profits or will not sustain losses. Before trading in any asset classes, investors should consult with their professional broker, financial advisor, or financial consultant to determine whether trading asset classes is appropriate. Investors who trade in any asset classes should only do so if the capital used for this purpose represents funds that an investor can afford to lose without adversely impacting the investor's lifestyle. No trading strategy or methodology is without risk of loss. No trading strategy is risk-free and no trading strategy can guarantee profits or freedom from losses. Investors risk losing the cost to execute any transaction, including associated commissions or fees. You should carefully consider whether trading in any asset class is appropriate for you in light of your investment experience and financial resources. Any trading decisions you make are solely your responsibility and at your own risk. None of the statements or materials in the Ovoria Prime chat rooms constitute a solicitation or recommendation to buy or sell. Welcome, welcome to the call. All right, my name is Nathan Williams. I am the developer of the AIM products, Arrow, Red Light, Green Light, and Market Makers Trend. Um, this call is uh, one of two. Uh, it's a developer insights call. So this call, I will go over everything Arrow, Red light, green light, market makers trend. All right. So if you're new, welcome. All right. If you're new, uh, let us know how long ago you started. All right. Um, in the chat. Also, if you're new and you need help getting set up, let us know in the chat. All right. For those who need help getting set up, this is what this call is for. But if no one needs help getting set up, then we would do some more advanced things, go over some advanced strategies, things of that nature. All right, Dwayne Johnson. Started last Thursday, hey. Dwayne, you aren't the Dwayne, the Rock Johnson, are you? Welcome, I wish. <laughs> welcome, either way, welcome. Welcome to the call, welcome to the family. All right, everybody, uh, Everybody, welcome uh, Dwayne to the call. Drop DTG, Dwayne the Goat, in the chat. All right. Appreciate you joining us. All right. Your friends call you the rock. <laughs> All right. So, Megan, two weeks ago. All right. So, Dwayne, do you need help getting set up? Let's see who else is in here. Suki started one month ago. All right, Suki, do you need help getting set up? Megan, I know Megan set up, but do you guys need any help? All right, Suki's good. Dwayne, Megan, do you guys need any help getting set up, going over anything, going over any strategy, any software? Felix is new. Felix, how long ago did you start? Welcome. Excuse me, I'm eating a little snack here while we uh, go over here. It's snack time for me, guys. You already got set up yourself and made some profits. My man, that's how we do it. Oh, Felix is new, new. Felix started today. Everybody dropping the chat, FTG. Felix the GOAT. Welcome. Oh, Lupe's new. All right, Lupe, LTG, Lupe to go. Drop it in the chat. All right, everybody getting started. All right, hey, new, new. Lupe and Felix, welcome. All right. Can you imagine next response if LeBron James joined? Man. You're not a real goat. Only real goats join. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. All right. Lupe, Felix, are you guys set up? Did the individual that brought you on, uh, that helped you sign up, did they help you get signed up or set up? All right. MMT is fire. 
We'll go over it today. I see a lot of people talking about it in the chat. All right. Felix and Lupe, do you guys need any help? All right. Tomorrow? I don't know what you mean, Felix. Tomorrow? Today, uh, the next Developer Insights call is going to be Thursday. We have them every Monday and every th Thursday. All right. Can I go over the arrow red light, green light combo? If the trade occurs close to resistance or support, you don't take it. All right. If the trade is at support or resistance, you don't take it. I don't personally take it. Some people do. I don't personally take it. All right. Okay, fix. Okay, you got the uh, the one on one set up for tomorrow. All right, great, great, great. Okay. Yeah, I don't need help setting up, but I do have a question. I trade off my Galaxy Z Fold Three and the RGL high the candles even after the zoom in and out. All right. Um, I don't shrink the red light green light. All right. If you're on your is a Galaxy Z Fold 3, is that, a, uh, is that a tablet, Erica? It's a phone, okay. So uh, for the phone, because I use my phone as well from time to time, what you want to do is you want to log into your VPS, all right? So you want to download the app, Microsoft Remote Desktop. Go in your back office and log in. You get the credentials to log into your VPS. That will give you access to the software on your phone. And you'll have full functionality, meaning that the picture will be clear. Um, you won't have the uh, red light, green light dashboard covering up charts, the pairs. All right. If you're logging in through the website, it will not give you the correct view. Even Avoya Prime recommends in the back office, if you'll see it, it tells you it recommends RDP, which is the remote desktop, all right? You use RDP? So if you use RDP, you should never have it covered up. So let's go over that real quick, all right? Let me log into mine. If you're on your RDP, I'm logging in to my VPS through my RDP. And you'll see here how it should never be covered up. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Let me share my screen real quick. All right, here I am inside the VPS. All right. So as you see here, here's the dashboard here. I'm not covered up. Now inside the RDP, you'll see a couple of things. All right. This icon right here, at the very top, there's two little arrows. The second one is called shift, end of chart. If you click that, you'll see it's covered up when it's turned off. You click it, you turn it on, you'll see, now you can see the candles. Also, there's a little triangle right here at the very top. You can click that triangle and drag it back to give yourself more room, all right? Now you can see everything. All right. Chromebook, same thing. Need to log in through RDP. Doesn't matter what, what device you're on, guys. Make sure you're logging in through your Microsoft Remote Desktop. That's the RDP. When you log in through the Microsoft Remote Desktop, all right, you give yourself the best chance, all right? Because you have all the tools you need, all right? No problem. The money zone is 8 a.m. to 8 a.m. Um, UK time, 
Ooh, I don't know the conversion. Uh, for me, the money zone for Arrow is midnight to noon. So that'd be 1 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, Desiree, that helps. All right, great. All right, so Suki, the money zone is from 1 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, I don't know what that converts to in UK time. Uh, I guess we can look it up, but that's what it stands for there. London is plus five hours from Eastern. So that would be 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, based on what Looney says. All right, because it's 1 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern. So it'll be 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern stand, I mean, uh, UK time is what time that would be. All right, that's the money zone. And the money zone is part of Arrow. All right. All right. What you said in the chart, were you using your broker's time? No. If you don't use your broker's time, it doesn't matter. Your broker's time, um, the setting I have is universal. All right. The setting I have is universal, so it doesn't matter. It's from 1 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern. All right. So it doesn't matter where you're at in the world, it's universal. It always worked that way. Okay. All right. Anybody else needing help getting set up? Do I change an arrow from CST to GMT? Nope. You don't change it. You can't change it anyway. It's universal. It will always be correct for you. All right. I am getting notification alerts wrong. Is it me or something else? My alerts times are saying like two hours behind. Um, not really sure what you mean. Send me an example. Uh, it says iPhone here. Send me an I example. If you go to uh, Instagram and find me at Nate Got the Bag or at Nate Got the Bag on Telegram. Um, you know, send me a message to my phone or to my, my, my telegram or my IG and I can actually, you know, send me a picture of what you're saying. I'm not really sure what you mean. They're two hours behind. Your alert should be for whatever time frame uh, it is. Now, I will say that the alerts will show uh, whatever time frame your broker is showing. So if your broker is two hours behind you, then your broker is two hours behind you. Uh, it's not exactly, you know, the, the alerts, and the time, that, and only Arrow gives the alerts for time, those alerts are based off of your broker's time, not your time, all right? So that's what you're talking about, then you're, you're okay, all right? The only time that matters is your broker's time because you're trading on your broker. So if it says, you know, like for me, my broker is uh, eight hours behind me, all right? So right now it's 5.20 p.m. Central Standard Time. My broker, and I'll show you guys here, I'll log in, I'm gonna show you real quick. You guys can see exactly what I mean. All right, share. Let's go. A second here, let me pull up my VPS. All right. Share screen now. All right, so here's my broker, my funded account that I trade on. All right, and you can see the current, we're on the one minute. So we'll see the exact time we're at. You can see the current time. Put my cursor on this current candle, and you can see at the very bottom down here, it says 120. Now it's 121. All right, so 121, it's 521 here. 521. It says 121. You see here your time frame at the bottom of the actual chart. All right. 
So it's eight hours for me, it's eight hours behind. All right. I'm sorry, eight hours ahead. Because 121 would be eight hours from now. All right, for me. Or four hours ago. For me, it's eight hours ahead. I know it is based on the time frame of my broker. Um, but it's eight hours ahead. That's because of the broker, not because of so when it sends out the alerts, it's gonna send it out based on whatever time frame your broker says that the alert came out. All right. So hopefully that makes sense. All right, Adam, what do you need to have getting set up at, man? Thanks for joining the call. All right. This call for setting getting set up. So go ahead and ask your questions so we can walk you through getting set up. All right. I've already paid for red light, green light, and gearbox. Is Arrow also a product that we need to individually purchase, or does it come with red light, green light? So Arrow is separate. All right. Arrow is separate. Arrow, red light, green light, market maker trend. There are three separate pro uh, softwares. All right. So if you have red light, green light with Gearbox, congrats. All right. You can use all three of my softwares separate or you can use them together. If you use them together, they're more powerful than if you use them separately. All right. Yes, you can switch every week. All right. Not recommended to switch. Personally, I wouldn't recommend you to switch. If you think about it, trading is not easy. All right. So. If trading is not easy and trading takes time to get results, switching every week is not going to give you the consistency you need to have the results, the consistent results. All right, just keep that in mind. All right. All right. So before I answer any more questions, let me go ahead and demonstrate uh, the software here. All right. So I um, had a question about, you know, showing how arrow and red light, green light work together. All right, so here we are on NAS. All right, here we are on NAS. We're on the one minute time frame because NAS 100 is a what? It's an indice. All right, and so I would, what? I would only trade inside of what? Inside the money zone, inside this time frame here. All right, why? Because this is where 80 to 85% of all the volatility is, all right? That's why it's called the money zone, all right? 80 to 85% of all the money traded, and there's $7 trillion a day traded on average in the foreign exchange market happens during this time frame. That's why we call it the money zone. So you want to be trading with the money. Can you get trades right? Sure, but if there's less volatility, the trade might pull back on you more than you would like it to, all right? But if you're trading inside the money zone when there's volatility, because that's the best time to trade, you have the best chance of winning uh, and winning quickly. All right, I'm gonna show you a, an example here. All right. So we're inside the money zone. All right. Now I'm gonna give you the rules. All right. So when you're using arrow plus red light, green light combined, as the question was asked, how do you use them combined? All right. Uh, Jackie. Panetta, she is a one of the educators. All right. She came up with a strategy called the one candle strategy. This is why everyone is using arrow and red light, green light together. All right. My recommendations on which softwares to use together, you either want to use red light, green light, and arrow together, or you want to use market makers trend and arrow together. All right. I'll show why. Uh the one candle strategy is why you want to use red light, green light, and arrow together, all right? So the one candle strategy, there are three different types of entries for the one candle strategy, all right? And I'm gonna show those examples. The first one, oh, we'll start with number three. We'll start off with least, least, we'll start off with the, well, it didn't really matter. All right, number one is same candle. Number two is next two candle. And number three is one candle apart. All right. You see here, number one is highlighted because number one is the most powerful. All right. So same candle. That means you have an alert for both arrow and red light, green light in the same direction as the trend, 
all right? That is same candle. So as you can see here, we have more green zones and red zones. So arrow tells us we're going up. We have a green light from NAS 100 from the red light, green light dash. All right. It says we're in a buy trend. And you see right here, we have an arrow, up arrow, and a B from red light, green light on the same candle. You get in that trade there. And you see that trade before it had a real pullback right here. It went up 1,026 pips. Pull back and it went up 1300 pips total. All right, same candle strategy right there. That's the same candle. All right, another same candle. It bounced off the zone. You had an up arrow, a green B for the buy on red light, green light. The dashboard says it's green light. You get in that trade. It ran up 550, uh, 68 pips. I'm sorry, 568. All right. That is the same candle. All right, let me go to five minute. Let's get rid of these here. You guys already know what it is. All right, let's see. Look at that. On the five minute. On the five minute, same candle strategy. Boom, look at that. Almost no drawdown. 43 pip drawdown, and it ran up 1,920 pips. You're done. And with the right lot size, you might be done for the week. All right? That's the same candle, same candle strategy. So let me try to, next is next two candle, all right? And then the last one is one candle apart. All right, so let's see if I can find an example here for you. All right, great, here's one candle apart. You see, you have an arrow here. All right, then you see there's nothing, and then you have a, Red S for the sale from red light, green light. Doesn't matter what order they come in. It could be the red S and then the arrow. Doesn't matter. All right. We see there's one candle apart. There's one candle in between that has nothing on it. So there's one candle apart. You get in that trade. That drop right there, 472 pips. It's a nice little scalp right there. A little pull back on you. If you want to hold that one, because I would have had my stop loss above the high. You hold that, that thing dropped to the zone right here. You know? Let me see that. Just to the zone was 1,600 pips. 1,600 pips. That's the one candle apart. All right. And let me go look at some of the pair to see if I can find a next two. All right. Let's see if we can find next two. All right. I put a post in the group. I took this strategy. I took this trade right here. This is one candle apart. I put this in the group. Man, I wish I'd have held it. All right. I caught 500 pips and got out. All right. Red S. Nothing on this candle. Next candle is a down arrow. I got in on this trade. I put this in the group. I put this in the group chat. I was up 300 plus pips on it. You see, it was up 340. Pull back. I got out right here when I hit 500. I had my stop loss. Uh, I had my take profit at 500 pips. There's a zone. There was a, a, there was a institutional zone down here. So I had it going at 500 pips. And you see here, that thing actually dropped on US 30. If I would have held that trade before it bounced back up, it actually dropped 1,500 pips, all right? Don't believe me again, I posted this video, a quick little video of this exact trade right here, all right? That's one candle apart. Let's see if we can find next two candle so you guys see exactly what that looks like. Go to five minute. Let's see if the five minute will give us the next two. No, there's another one candle apart right there. Beautiful. And that one dropped to the zone, 2,400 pips. Went as low as 2,700 pips. All right. If you wonder why people are catching thousands and thousands of pips in the chat, they are using strategies like this. All right. Now, here's the power of. What the power? Here's an example of a next two, but again, also an example of why not to trade outside the money zone because there's no vol there's less volatility. Plus, the closer you get to this white dotted line, the closer you're getting to the end of the day, which means there's really no volatility. But as you see here, here's next two candle, green B, and the very next candle has up arrow. That is a perfect entry for a buy. But of course, it goes up 200 pips here, 
And then, of course, it starts dropping, going into the next day. This is a new day. This is why you don't trade outside of the money zone. Again, can you win? Sure, sometimes you can. But it's not recommended because you will lose more than you win. Why? Because there's no volatility, all right? The, the individuals that move the market, all right, they trade these pairs, indexes, precious metals, forex pairs, cryptocurrency. They trade them at different times, all right? The indexes, US 30, SP 500, uh, NAS 100, they are traded during New York session, all right? When you get outside of the money zone, it's past New York session lunchtime. We are, it's over. It's finito. Stop trading. All right. Otherwise, you get trapped in trades like this. All right. But that is the next two. They're literally next to each other. All right. So that's, those are the three different examples. All right. And when you trade them at the right time of day, based on when that pair trades the most, you have the highest probability. I only trade four pairs. I trade German 30 which is the US 30 version of the index for the uh, 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 for Germany, I trade it during London session because it's most volatile during London session. I also trade the Great Britain pound Japanese yen during London session because it's most volatile during London session. And then I trade US 30 and NAS 100. I only trade those during um, New York session. All right, why? That is when the people that trade those pairs trade them the most with the real money in their account. All right. So I have, will have the highest probability chance of winning because there's more volatility. All right. So that is how you use red light, green light, and arrow together. Now, let us look at. GJ, there we go. I'm gonna get rid of red light, green light. All right, so I just have arrow, and I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna add market makers trend. So I can show you how to use market makers trend plus arrow together. Remember the combination I gave you, market makers trend and arrow, or just red light, green light and arrow. All right, oh, cool. We just got a market maker sale today. You just got a market maker sale today. After the big drop, we got a market maker sale for red light, green light. We'll see if they have that holds, all right? So before then though, we had a buy, market maker buy down here, all right? Had a market maker buy down here, all right? On the sixth, I'm oh, sorry, the eighth, oh, that's the eighth, on the eighth right here. Which means that you should be taking all the up arrow trades, all right? So all the strategies that arrow has, there are 11, you should use all those strategies to find buys. All right. So, for example, you have a bounce, an arrow, take a trade. Another, you know, that's bounce, arrow, go right there. You see that thing is still going up. You can take two consecutive arrows in a row. There's another consecutive up arrow. You can get in that one. And you see, every time you get in, you have no drawdown, just going straight up because you know the trend is what is up. All right. You can use the, you can use the Asia session breakout. All right. So we got a buy signal here. Then on this day right here, we know Asia session. We know Asia session is this right here, everything before the money zone. So we wait for the first candle in the money zone to close above it. But look what happened. This candle closed above the money zone. Or I'm sorry, this candle, this, this candle inside the money zone closed above Asia session. We take the buy. That trade right there is 60 pips. 61 pips to be exact. All right. If he held it, it went as high as 88, pulled back, and then ran up some more. All right. Strategy four, break of the high of day. The high of day, high and low of day breakout strategy. All right. So it tells you what? The first candle inside the money zone that closes above the previous day's money zone. Look at that. Here's the previous day's money zone. This same candle that broke Asia session also broke what? The high of yesterday. We already know it went up 60 pips. Strategy three and four. Whenever you have multiple strategies line up, it's even more powerful. All right. So this is how you use it together. All right. Market makers trend tells you the direction to trade. And then you just go to whatever time frame you like to trade on 
and you use any of the arrow strategies to trade in that direction. So now there's no more guessing of what direction you need to trade in. All right. So right now we know the trend is down. All right. So I'm going to be looking for sale opportunities. All right. Because I, you know, with arrow, all right, you, you know, because I am waiting for what? I am waiting for uh, setups. Market makers telling us we're in a sale trend. All right. That is how you use arrow and market maker together. All right. Uh, let's see here. Yes, Q T T T. Take the trade. All right. So mm -mm, let's see here. Would I use 100 pips as my ADR for one hour as you say 50 pips on 15 minutes? I'm using a number of the strategy like Asian breakout. Um, so on the one hour, I would look for 50 to 100 pips. On the 15 minute, I'd be looking for, you know, uh, 25 to 50 pips, pretty 20 to 50 pips, all right, on Forex pairs. So if you're on a one hour, I'd be looking for somewhere between, between 50 and 100, all right? Uh, all right, no problem. Any recommendations or tips for the people trading currency pairs with arrow bag strategy and using red light, green light? Uh, I just gave those and you combine them together. Um, what about on currency pairs? Uh, Logan, I just gave that. So hopefully you, you saw me looking at with the red light, green light example. Oh, uh, actually, I didn't give one. So let's go ahead and go over it. So let us add red light, green light on here. Do, 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 do. It should be the exact same. All right. It doesn't really matter what you're trading. All right. Let's go to a lower time frame. Doesn't really matter. Down arrow, nothing. Red sale. Red light, green light. That's one candle apart. One candle apart, the drop was 110 pips. Hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful setup, 110 pips. Those are a little separate. I wouldn't take those because, you know, they're not, they don't follow the rules there. But that was it right there. Those are separated as well. Plus, there's a zone down here, so I don't look at trading to zones. All right. But, uh, I mean, it didn't matter. You want to go to a lower time frame, you just go to you do the exact same. Oh man, look at that. Same candle. Beautiful. Beautiful. Same candle. Look at that. Drawdown was nine pips. Just to the zone was 72. It went as low as 84, but you know, you caught 72 pips. That's a banger right there. With the right lot size, man, it's a money maker right there. Money maker. All right. Money maker, and it's inside the money zone. All right, look at this. This is outside the money zone. I'm, I'll give you guys an example. Sometimes it, you know they do play out. Buy and an up arrow. That's next two. Those are next two candles. Getting this trade here, right there on that candle. Look at that. No drawdown. You're never in drawdown in this trade. It runs up. Three hundred and twenty-five pips. Drawdown means that. When you get in this trade on this next candle, you get the green B, and now you're waiting for the what? The up arrow. Boom, you got it. So you get in on this candle. You see here, this candle right here. Let me zoom in a little bit for you guys. You get in on this candle right here. Let me highlight it for you. Boom. All right. This candle, if you get in at the beginning, like you should, price never goes backwards. That means you're never in drawdown. That means you're always in the money on that trade. Now that's a, a trade outside of the money zone. I wouldn't necessarily take it, all right, because it's outside of the money zone. I like to take trades inside the money zone. This is GJ, so I'm looking to take trades during lending session, all right. But uh, I already know we're in a what? We're in a market maker buy, and you know, guess what? Here is Asia session, all right, and this candle right here is the first candle inside the money zone that closes above Asia session. All right. So I buy next candle. Strategy number three, one of the most profitable strategies out there. 235 pips. All right. 
that's a more for me that's a safer trade because it looks good right now because what it already happened so you can see that oh it played out all right i wouldn't have took that trade because outside the money zone all right but i would have taken that breakout trade asian breakout trade like i always do all right I, I, that's a when i was trading on london session with the team that was one of my uh favorite trades to go to all right so that's on a currency all right Vic, Tesla, 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 all right? Uh, Vic, we've gone over Tesla, you and I ourselves already, so we can look at it again, all right? I'm gonna go to my other broker here so I can pull it up, all right? We have already looked at Tesla, you and I personally, but we'll go take a look at it so that everyone can see here. Tesla's a stock. These tools work, all right? Doesn't matter what you're trading. Now, I can't necessarily, let me see, actually, it should not work. I'm gonna try to pull it up, though. Uh, let's pull up a arrow first of all market makers trend is an uh in the, is a, a expert advisor all right the way it calculates the highs and lows it is an expert advisor so and this is how they're going to be you see here market makers trend ea market maker trend ea indicator they're both eas but one will have ea in parentheses one will have indicator in parentheses the indicator is the indicator version just what's on the chart so that you can visually see, all right? The one that says EA in parentheses means that's the one that actually automatically trades for you. So when that launches, you guys know the difference, the difference between the two, all right? So if I add this on here, let's make this see, it should not, it shouldn't pop up, but it might, usually it doesn't pop up because it's an EA and the EAs don't work on charts that aren't live. And this chart is not a live chart because Tesla is a stock and the stock market is currently closed right now. And it's not popping up just like I thought. All right. Uh, but I can tell you, because me and Vic, we already looked at this chart. There is a market maker buy right here. All right. Market maker buy right there on the 14th of March. So I will be looking for nothing but buy opportunities past the 14th of March. All right. This is a stock. So the money zone doesn't matter. Because there is no money zone with the stock with the stock market. All right, there isn't one. All right, because the stock market is traded the whole day. Because it's the stock market; it's traded from open to close. All right, so I'd be looking for what? I'd be looking for uh, different. I'd be utilizing different strategies. Strategy number one: the back bounce arrow go strategy. All right, so I might go to a lower time frame. Let's go to fifteen minutes. One second, guys. Let me take just off of this the older version. Remove. All right, go to 15 minute. All right, and I'm looking for buys. I mean, you see today, just today, you had a what? Bounce from yesterday, I mean, from Friday, and an arrow at the open today. But guess what? I'm looking to take that buy. Stock went up $22.34. All right, $22.34 on a stock that's in the, at 1000 uh, you know, that's 2.2, that's a 2.2% move. So you can definitely make some serious money by trading some stock options on that trade right there because the price went up $22, all right? It already bounced yesterday, I mean, on Friday, multiple bounces off the support zone. And then at the open today, you had a what? A gap up, an arrow, up arrow. Means next candle you get in, take the buy, all right? The buy was down here. Market maker buy. Next day, you had a what? Bounce. It already bounced. Arrow, take the trade. Arrow, take the trade. All right. Of course, understanding how to utilize proper risk management for stocks. All right. Stock options, wherever you're trading it. All right. We already went over currency pairs. You take the sale, even if red light, green light is showing a buy. Um, Grady, I'm not, if red light, green light gives you a sale, then the trend will be a, a red light, all right? It's coded so that you don't even need the red light, green light dashboard. If it says sell, it will all automatically be red. If it says buy, it'll automatically be green. 
Is it possible to have a trade manager on MMT chart? It's saying I have to stop MMT to execute trade manager. Uh, no, the trade manager is an expert advisor. Market makers trend is an expert advisor. Therefore, you cannot have two expert advisors on the same chart. All right. The way you want to do it is, is if you have MMT on one, let's say MMT is on Tesla right here, right? and you're trading Tesla. All right. If you take a, you know, if you want to do your, uh, your analysis on the first chart, all right, with MMT on it, then what you want to do is open up a second chart with Tesla on it and put the trade manager on that chart. Enter your trade on whatever chart you want to, but put the trade manager on the same chart. So just put it on, but that chart does not have MMT on it. All right, so just open up a second chart for that pair and put the trade manager on it and you'll be good to go. All right, two EAs cannot be working on the same chart. It can be on the same pair, but you have to have two charts open of the same pair. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, cool. Desiree said she caught it, made 178 bucks off of one of those trades. Nice. Congrats. What are the different time frames for the pairs you trade? I don't know oh, that I recommend. Uh, it's based on how you trade. You know, I, you know, everyone asks what are the recommended time frames. I trade based on the way that I trade. You may trade differently. Um, I trade on a time frame that people think is crazy. So on indices, actually, I enter all my trades on the one minute. All of my trades I enter on the one minute, but I do my analysis on multiple time frames, higher time frames, all the way down to lower time frames. But I execute my entries on the one minute because I want more precise entries. All right. But for the most part, what I'd recommend you, especially if you're using arrow and red light, green light together, or arrow and market makers trend together, if you're trading on indices, gold, oil, cryptocurrency, I recommend the one minute and the five minute. All right. If you're trading Forex pairs, I recommend the 15 minute, um, the five minute or 15 minute. All right. I'm a scalper. Those are the time frames I, I recommend for scalping. All right. If you're a swing trader, from those who swing trade, they, you know, they all tell me about the same. They use the one hour and four hour for, for a swing trade. I don't know anybody that swing trades indices or gold or anything like that nature. But those who are, you know, swing trading uh, foreign exchange currency pairs, they use the one hour or four hour. All right. But at the end of the day, there is no, that's, that's, those are the time frames that I would recommend based on the way that I trade. You may be different. You may trade differently. You may, so you may, you may be an entry day trader and not a scalper. I'm a scalper. You might be a swing trader, different time frames. So you need to figure out what's the best time frame for you and, and your style of trading. I set up 16 Forex pairs running. Is this okay? Yeah, that, that's what you want to do. If you want to monitor 16 pairs, sure. I don't recommend it. I only trade four. And really, I only trade two. I mainly trade US 30 and German 30. You want to find one or two good pairs to trade and master those pairs because you'll do what? You'll intimately understand when and how they move. All right. I could get into German 30 on trades. People are like, Nate, why are you getting into that trade? Oh, it's getting ready to sell. I already know. I've been trading German 30 for over a year, consistently over a year. Every, I, I very rarely miss a day. I missed a few days, but I, probably in the last year, I may have missed trading London session five times. One hand I can count. That's it. Even when I was sick, I still was trading. And so I intimately know German 30. So there are setups that I see that I've seen happen in the same way over the last year. I can get in that trade, take it. Do I always win? No, I take losses. But I significantly win more than I lose with German 30. Significantly, because I've traded German 30 so long. So if you're looking at 16 different pairs, they all move different, which means that they're going to move at different times a day. All right. They're going to move differently, slower, not as many pips. I can tell you a 15 minute counter on GBP JPY is typically going to be two or three times more pips than on a, a 15 minute candle on AUD USD because GBP JPY is more volatile. All right. Than AUD USD big time significantly. So you want to, my recommendation, and a lot of traders will tell you, you want to find one or two pairs and master those two, all right? Not a question, but for the new people. No, I'm not showing them. 
I'm not showing no EA results. We've already gone over EA results. I am done talking about the EAs, all right, until we launch, all right? Um, simple as that. Everybody is, you know, not concentrating on everything else. So right now, until the EA launches, I will not go over any more EA results. I've given those. If you guys want to see the results, there are past videos that have those on there, all right? If you also want to see any results, please go to my Instagram page. You can see all results on my Instagram page. You can go to my profile and look at red light, green light, EA results. You can go to Market Makers Trend, look at the, those results. Right now, we won't be going over any EA results or anything about the EAs until they launch, all right? Tesla rockets tomorrow to 1150 plus with volume. Wouldn't surprise me. Wouldn't surprise me at all, especially with the announcement they just made. So definitely, definitely can see it pushing up, all right? I don't really look at stocks every day, Vic, so I couldn't tell you. I'm not a, uh, I'm not that deep into the stock option world uh, just yet. I'm getting back into it slowly, so I'm not tracking that many stocks. I only track a few. All right. All right. My IG, I will drop it in the chat for everybody. It is at Nate got the bag. All right. So at Nate got the, and this is my only IG. I don't have a backup. All right. I don't have. Uh, a new account, whatever the scammers tell you. I only have one IG. I don't DM you first. I never ask for money, all right? I don't trade for anybody. Do not get scammed. I've told people multiple times, do not get scammed. If you wanna give your money away, go find a homeless person on, on, the, uh, on, the, uh, on the side of the highway, all right? Don't give a scammer three grand, all right? And you know it's a, another account. They don't talk like me, all right? They don't know, they, they don't even utilize proper English. I've seen a lot of messages from these scammers, all right? They're getting good. They block me, so I can't report them, all right? Uh, first of all. Second of all, they, um, um, they will go as far as to sign up with Avoya Prime and put certain things on a page that you'd only know from an Avoya, you know, you'd only have if you're an Avoya Prime customer, all right? They are getting very good and getting in there investing in themselves by spending your money to do so. All right. I only have one account. All right. I don't trade for you. I don't trade crypto. I don't even touch crypto right now. I've sold all my crypto except for my NFTs. So all I'm going to say the same thing to you is this crypto because crypto is a hot word right now. Or oh, I can flip your money 10 times in crypto and people believe it because it, it can be it's doable. I don't trade crypto. Nobody sees me trading crypto. Don't fall for the scams, all right? Let everybody know. I typically post once a week now, letting people know that I'm, it's, you know, I only have one account, or this is a scammer, all right? So uh, just giving a warning out, please stop giving your money away. If you just want to give me your money, you think it's me, you know, uh, you can find me on uh, uh, Telegram, at Nate Bag, or in the chat, which you guys are part of, and just, you know, send me a... Send me a postcard if you need to. I'll give you my address, you know, attach some money to it. I'd appreciate it. All right. So I've gone through the chat. All right. Um, that is the softwares. All right. Doesn't really matter. Again, uh, I, Thursday, I'll try to have some stocks up to show you what it looked like with the uh, MMT already on it. But again, it's an expert advisor. So if you're trying to add uh, MMT onto the chart, it needs to be a live chart. What does live chart mean? It means an active chart. The stock market is closed. Therefore, these charts are what? They're not moving. They're not live. Therefore, no expert advisor will work because it's not moving. It's not a live chart. All right. So you have to be trading during the time the chart is live. All right. How much do I need? Oh, uh, Bill, yeah, we're talking about, I'll send you, I'll send you a number. It's got two zero, it's got two commas in it though. Two commas, so I need a lot. <laughs> All right, my man, my man. Um, if we go back guys, this is the power of, of, of the one candle. I can tell you guys, this one candle here has changed a lot of people's lives. All right, uh, even those who are trading full time already, you know, have started to use the one candle just because of its uh, high level accuracy. So whenever you guys get a chance, 
uh, you know, go in the chat, shout out Jackie. All right. Jackie is the one that created the one candle strategy. All right. And again, there are three different ways to enter in the one candle. All right. Also, if you're using arrow and market maker, you just want to use any arrow strategy in the direction of the trend. All right. Market maker tells you the trend, therefore trade in that direction. Right now we're in a market maker sale. You see at the start of the day, boom, market maker sale now on this day. Therefore, I'm waiting for sales during this day. This is Great Britain pound Japanese yen. I'm not gonna look to sell until what? Until London session, because this is a London session pair. As you can see, what is it doing? It's going up, all right? We should get the volatility to push the price down once we get to London, all right? And start really moving. If you don't believe me, take a look, guys. Outside the money zone, doesn't move very much. All right, the biggest move outside of London, London uh, outside of money zone was that's actually a big move 122 pips inside 300 pips up, and then what? And then 340 down. There's more volatility. You see the difference? Doesn't move much, moves a lot. All right. Now, is that to say it's going to always be that way? No, there's a big move. There's a big move outside of the money zone. It happens. It happens for this pair because JPY is an Asia session pair. So if JPY had some news, you'll see some bigger moves outside the money zone. All right. But other than that, you want to make sure you trade it inside the money zone during lending session. All right. Let's go back to the chat here. I uh, don't know what you mean by time frame. I've already gone over time frames that I recommend based on the way I trade. All right. So I'm a scalper. I've already explained that you want to use the five and 15 minute time frames you know, on your forex pairs. If you're brand new, start off with forex pairs. Don't go to anything else. All right. The default setting is all you need for arrow because it's the exact time frame. All right. It's all you need. <laughs> yeah, no problem. No problem. That time is perfect because, again, 12, 1 p. you know, the time frame for the money zone is universal. This time of day, is what the most volatile time of day for me and where I'm at. And if it's the most volatile time of day for me where I'm at, it's also gonna be the most volatile time for you. Why? Because this time of day overlaps London session and New York session. London session and New York session, some days can be over 90% of the overall volume for the entire day, all right? So therefore, if the time zone, I mean, if you know, uh, the money zone covers that time frame for me, it's also going to cover for you because London session and New York session are at the same time every day, no matter where you're at in the world. All right. That's why that time frame is good no matter where you're at. Doesn't matter your broker, this time frame is set and it's created uh, to always be at the same time frame, even if your broker gives a different time frame. Even if your broker is different than mine, doesn't matter. This will always be at the same time of day. All right. What I mean is stop losses, take profit. All right. So the software for your automatic stop loss and take profit is called the trade manager. All right. So if I'm on GDP, JPY, I come right to the gold folder and star, get the navigator. All right, it's an expert advisor. You want to come down to expert advisors. Hit the plus sign, arrow trade manager. Double click that. The arrow trade manager, all right? Shows you what? Well, first of all, you need to come to common and make sure these four boxes are selected. Enable alerts, allow live trading, allow DLL imports, allow import of external experts. Then you go to inputs to put your inputs in. Take profit, stop loss. Everything here is in points. 
which means you have to add an extra zero. So I want my take profit and stop loss to be 50 pips. So you type in 500, that's 500 points. 500 points is the same as 50 pips, all right? Points, you just multiply pips by 10, all right? So my take profit is 500 points. My stop loss is 500 points. That means I got to take profit of 50 pips, stop loss of 50 pips. All right, next is your TP and SL mode. All right, which means that once you place a trade, after you have set everything up, the expert, the, tra the trade manager here, which is the expert advisor, it will automatically set your take profit and stop loss for you. All right, you have to test it. All you have to do is hit buy or sell. Now, with this setting here, you can hide it or place the trade. I'm sorry, place the uh, place it. So if you hide it, it just means that it's not visible on the chart. So the brokers that you're trading on cannot see your take profit and stop loss for those who want to have that option. But if you hit place, and I recommend you hit place, especially if you're trading a funded account, then it will show it on the chart. All right. Some funded account uh, platforms, proprietary firms, if you don't have a stop loss place, they will automatically. Uh, it'd be a violation, you know, for that account and you could lose your account. All right. So just make sure you understand how to use the software. All right. Next, you have profit lock settings, number one and number two. And then third, you have trailing stop. You cannot use both. You can only use profit lock one and two together or trailing stop by itself. All right. Profit lock, the way it works, and I recommend it's pretty cool. Let's say we go to the first profit lock. Let's say we're going with a 50 pip trade. So for me, I come here, make I double click on enable, make sure it's enabled. You can enable it and disable it if you want to. So for you, I click enable. All right. And then I want to go with a, on a 50 pip trade, I want to go with 25 pips. So at 25 pips in profit, I want to lock in 50 pips. So 250 points is 25 pips. 50 points is five pips. All right. So that means when price gets 25 pips or halfway to my take profit, it will put my stop loss at five pips in profit to make sure that I have a free trade. All right. And then profit lock two means what? I'll go ahead and change that setting. Let's say 400, 400 pip points, which is 40 pips. And then I put 250. All right. So now with profit lock two, it's enabled. So when price gets 40 pips in profit, the stop loss will move to 25 pips of profit. It'll lock in half my trade. All right. So that means that either price will hit 50 pip take profit or hit my stop loss at 25 pips in profit. Either way, I can put this trade on and go to sleep. And if I wake up and I see that, oh, I caught 25 pips, that means that the trade manager moved your stop loss to five pips in profit. And then price got up 40 pips of profit and locked you in at 25 pips of profit. So it works while you're asleep. It automatically sets your stop loss and take profit. And then as you're asleep or doing something, uh, eating dinner, whatever the case may be, as price moves in your favor, it will move your stop loss automatically for you. So it semi automates your manual trading experience. All right. Now, trading stop is here. If you want to use it, you double click, go to the drop down here, select which trading stop feature you want to use. All right. I'm not going to go over those. They're in the video where I break down every last one of those. All right. But that's how that works. All right. And then you have the options here. And I'll walk those down in the video. All right. On how to use the trading stop. All right. I always have no trading stop. I like profit locks better. That's just what I recommend. All right. What I, what I, what I not recommend, but that's what I, uh, what I like. All right. And then, of course, um, the most important feature is this one right here. Chart symbol selection. All right. Now you see here all open orders. You double click it here, drop down menu, current chart only. All right. So here's how this works. If you're trading only Forex pairs and every trade you want to have the exact same stop loss and take profit and profit lock settings or trading stop settings, whatever, then put it on all open orders. And you can just literally open up one chart, place this on one chart. And that's all you need. And then every time you open up a trade, it will automatically do the same thing for those Forex pairs. All right. Now, if you're trading gold indices, Forex pairs, Bitcoin, you know, all that, and everything has different stop loss, take profit, and trading stop, you know, profit lock or trading stop features, 
then you want to make sure you have current chart only. Open up the trade manager on that chart specifically and have the settings for that chart only. All right. If you have it on all open orders and you're wondering why your your uh, indice trades keep closing you out, that is why. Because you have it on all open orders. That means any order you open, any trade you place will go by the settings. All right. That is how the trade manager works. All right. Let's check the chat here. All right. Mobile version of what? Vic? Not really sure. Uh, it's not a mobile version. So you can be mobile. You can you can actually utilize all these softwares on your phone or on your tablet. So you can be mobile. Uh, all right, Suki, so good night. Right a question. This will be the last question because we are over our time. All right. Is Wi-Fi needed to access our Microsoft Remote Desktop? Uh, yes, you need internet to get access to the RDP. The RDP is in the cloud. All right. You need Wi-Fi. You need internet. All right. It is in the cloud. You can only access the cloud through the internet. So yes, you definitely need your Wi-Fi. All right. All right, guys, that is the end of our call. I thank everybody for being on. I'll be back on Thursday, all right? Uh, with, on the call, we'll have another call Thursday so that we can actually get set up, all right? So if you're gonna trade, make sure you trade responsibly. I'll see you guys in the funny papers. There is a substantial risk of loss associated with trading Forex, binary options, stocks, or equities, collectively, asset classes. Only risk capital should be used for trading. Trading in any asset classes is not appropriate for everyone. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. No representation is being made that investors will make profits or will not sustain losses. Before trading in any asset classes, investors should consult with their professional broker, financial advisor, or financial consultant to determine whether trading asset classes is appropriate. Investors who trade in any asset classes should only do so if the capital used for this purpose represents funds that an investor can afford to lose without adversely impacting the investor's lifestyle. No trading strategy or methodology is without risk of loss. No trading strategy is risk-free and no trading strategy can guarantee profits or freedom from losses. Investors risk losing the cost to execute any transaction, including associated commissions or fees. You should carefully consider whether trading in any asset class is appropriate for you in light of your investment experience and financial resources. Any trading decisions you make are solely your responsibility and at your own risk. None of the statements or materials in the Ovoria Prime chat rooms constitute a solicitation or recommendation to buy or sell. Thank you.